Hi, I've made lots of videos that go up to really high numbers. I'm talking millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, you name it, I've probably done it. Today I'm going to show you how to make those videos. You're going to need a photo editing program. I use Photoshop, however there's a free program called Photopea, which is very good. It's all web-based. And you're going to need a video editing program. I use Vegas Pro. So open your photo editing program and go File New and make it 1920 by 1080. That will make your video full high definition and press create. Now double click on this background layer here and click OK and then click this eyeball and you'll get a transparent background. Now click this type tool, uh, click anywhere and type in whatever number you would like your video to go up to. So for this demonstration, I'm going to choose 1000 and then highlight your text and click this right align text and then move the text somewhere back towards the middle, highlight the text again and choose which font you would like. I'm going to go with Big John Pro. You can find a lot of fonts uh, for free online. You just type in free fonts and many fonts will come up. And now we want to make our font bigger so it fits most of the screen. So I'm going to go try 700. Um, that looks about right. Then press Control A. Make sure the Moose tool is selected and select Align Horizontal Centers and Align Vertical Centers and then Control D to deselect. So now we've got the thousand in the middle. Now double click the thousand layer and you can add whatever effects you want to it, uh, like an inner glow or a satin. I'm going to choose a gradient overlay, and there's many gradients you can choose. You can do a rainbow. Um, I'm going to go with this one here. It looks good. And you can add a stroke. I think a black stroke would look better in this case, and I'll make it a bit thicker. Let's say uh, 15. Okay. I think that looks really good. Select your font again, and just press zero. Now press the move tool and go file, export, quick export as PNG and type in zero and then you've saved that digit as a photo. Now we want to select the type tool again, select one and go file, export, export as PNG and type in one. Now we don't have to do this for every number, we just have to do it for the 10 digits. So again, we select it, type in two, choose the move tool, file, export, export as PNG, and type in two. I'll just fast forward while I do the other seven digits. Okay, now that we've saved our 10 digits, we need to open our video editing program and make sure the settings are the same as the photo size that we made. So we want a width of 1920 and a height of 1080. The frame rate, You'll learn how it's important later, but for the moment, probably just choose 30 because that's what I'm going to choose and click OK. And you also need to go to Options, Preferences, Editing and choose the new still image length of 0 0.1, so one tenth of a second or however long you want to show each number. I think one tenth of a second is good, so choose that. If you have a different video editing program and you're not sure how to do this, just Google new still image length and then the name of your video editing program. So press OK, grab your 10 numbers, digits and drag them into your video editing program at the beginning of the timeline. So now you can see we've got the digits zero to nine. Okay, so now I have to press D twice on my keyboard and select the 10 digits, press Control C, go to the end of where you selected and now we want 10 lots of those digits. So press Control V and we've got two. Control V again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we want to select everything that we've made just now. So drag across, press Control C, and then we want 10 lots of that. So we've got one, two with Control V, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we've got all the, 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 num the digits zero to nine just going over and over. Now we want to get our tens column. So right click and go insert video track. 
And now we want to go options, preferences, editing, and we want our new still image length to be 10 times what it was before. So I chose one tenth of a second before, so now I want it one second. Now we grab our 10 digits and drag them just here. Again, we select them all, control C, go to the end and paste it nine times. So we've got 10 lots, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The two rows should be exactly the same length as you can see here. Now we want to take the track motion, click on this track motion button, click on this square and we want to move the tens digit across. So once you click on that square, press the left arrow button and just hold it down until you have the digit in a nice place. So I'd say about there looks good and see the X value here is changing. So we want probably minus 450 and then Press the space bar or play your footage and see what it looks like. Looks pretty good, but the 44, you can see that the digits are overlapping. Now 44 is a good test. It's the 44 club test, if you know what I'm talking about with how ridiculous, but basically the four is usually the widest uh, number. And so you can see if your numbers are too close together by looking at 44. And here they're a little bit too close. So we go back to the beginning and choose a higher value um, to separate them. So I'm gonna choose minus 480. And then uh, we can have another look what that looks like. Uh, I think they're nicely spaced, it looks good. And the 44, yes, they're separated, so that looks good. So now we've got the tens and the units, we need the hundreds. So we go insert video track, a new video track, and we need to change the length of the still image again and 10 times what it was before, so now we want 10 seconds. Press OK. And we get our numbers and drag them into the top here. And now that's our hundreds column, and you should see that it lines up perfectly on the right side here. But again, we have to move our hundreds digit across. So just click on this square. And we want to move it twice as far as before. So the first time we moved it negative 480, so now we want to move it negative 960. And uh, yeah, now we can see what that looks like. We've got the hundreds, two hundreds, so we're almost there. Um, but you can see here, it only goes up to 999. So we need another zero in each of the rows. So we just put a zero here, a zero here, and a zero here, so at the end. And it's only said zero, zero, zero instead of thousands. We need to insert a video track and put in a number one at the end here. But that needs to be moved as well. Let's move this three lots of 480 across, which is negative one, four, four, zero. And then we've got our thousand, but we're still not done yet. Starts with 009, which may be good for like James Bond or something, but usually when we're writing seven, we don't write two zeros at the beginning. So we just delete these zeros at the front here. So we want that gone and that gone. And um, maybe we also want, uh, instead of starting from zero, we'll start from one. So we delete that as well. And while you're doing that, just remember that this button here, lock envelopes to events is not selected. This was, it looks like selected. So just unselect that. I don't want to tell you why it's a bit too technical, but just leave it unselected. There we have it. I think we can make this a bit better. So if we go to media generator, uh, we select color gradients. We can choose a background for our numbers. Uh, so there's a few here and we can just drag this one into the bottom layer here, a new bottom layer, and then just drag that across the length of our footage. And there we have it. And there's still one thing missing. Can you think of it? I reckon it would be better with music. So let's just go to the audio library on YouTube. Just go to your dashboard, select audio library, and we can see our video gets to a thousand at around a minute 40. So if we go here and find a song that is just over a minute 40, so how about the moon drops? See what that sounds like. Okay, that sounds pretty nice. Um, so let's just download that and we can take our download 
and drop it on the bottom here and just put it at the beginning of our music and see this little no node here is where the music starts and we probably want our music to start just as the first number appears so like that so let's play that and have a look that looks good to me we just click on render as please don't crash now <laughs> okay and then we want internet hd 1080p at 30 frames a second we'll just call it um numbers one to one thousand and click on render and that's it we're making our video so i put it here can play it yeah looks good and now you can upload that to youtube or do whatever you, you want with it